Welcome back to this presentation by Admissions Helpers on writing a successful personal statement. This is the second part of our presentation, and in this section, we will review the steps involved in approaching the personal statement and begin to discuss the first of these steps. As students begin to prepare writing the personal statement, they often ask, where do I start? What do I begin with? And one way to approach the personal statement is to go through the following four steps. First, brainstorm and generate content for your personal statement. Second, take the content that you've generated and organize it into an essay format. Third, read the essay and proofread it multiple times. Make edits to it. Make sure the transitions flow. Make sure it's smooth and has a theme. And fourth, take what's extra and trim it to make your essay concise. Let's review step one, brainstorming and generating content. It turns out that writing a personal statement is more a thinking exercise than a writing exercise. So we encourage students to spend a lot of time thinking about the ideas that they want to convey and to develop these ideas. The more you can think about your ideas, the better you can develop them and the more compelling of a case you can make for why you should be accepted to the medical school, the dental school, or the pharmacy school you are applying to. You may be thinking, where does the brainstorming process begin? There are four questions that a personal statement should answer. And answering these four questions is a good place to start in terms of developing ideas and brainstorming for your personal statement. The first question is, why do you want to pursue the field that you're pursuing? Think about what your reasons are for pursuing medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, etc and develop that reasoning as best as you can so that it's unique and it's well-developed. The second question is, what characteristics or qualities do you have that would make you a good candidate, not just for this profession, but also for training in this profession? Why would you be not just a good doctor, for example, but why would you be a good medical student? Why would you be not just a good dentist, but also a good dental student? Explain both of these. The third question is what is your understanding of the profession that you want to pursue? How well do you know what this profession is about? And how has this understanding evolved as a result of your professional experiences and as a result of your personal experiences? And finally, what are your goals? What do you ultimately hope to accomplish when you finish your schooling and you have the credentials that you're pursuing? What do you want to do with this career? These four questions can form the basis for the ideas that you will incorporate into your personal statement, and they're a good starting point for brainstorming, generating your ideas, and developing the meat of your personal statement. This concludes Section 2 of Writing a Successful Personal Statement. In Section 3, we will look more in detail at the four questions involved in brainstorming and generating content for your personal statement.